We are a nation of dog lovers. There are over 10 million of them in our homes and they come in all shapes and sizes. We love them and they love us, but they don't always get the treatment they deserve. Luckily, cruelty to dogs doesn't go unnoticed because of the people that come to their rescue, because they are the dog rescuers. Mel's returning to a job in Luton, where she found an underweight Rottweiler chained up in a backyard. I gave advice that the dog needed to be seen by a vet, but we don't think it's gone anywhere. And now I believe that the owners might not be at the property attending to it, so not only is it skinny, it might also now be abandoned. Hopefully they've paid attention to Mel's advice, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Hello, beautiful! You can see why I'm worried about him, can't you? The dog's clearly very underweight. I still don't know whether it's been seen by a vet. There's no reason for it to look like that if it's not got a medical problem and it's getting proper food. Tiger is also surrounded by hazards, so could easily hurt himself. It's just a miserable existence, really. In March 2014, Inspector Annie Simmons was called to an emergency. Left unsupervised, two dogs had got into a fight. The police managed to break things up, but Oslo the Husky hadn't fared well. In a state of shock and with some deep wounds, he was in a critical condition. That was just over a year ago, and Oslo has made an incredible recovery. I'm glad you're OK, old pal. Today, this family man's in for a real treat because Jane and her husband Peter have brought him along to a celebration of all things husky. Let's go, let's go, let's go! It's a husky fest. Come on! Quite literally, that's what it's actually called. It's a chance for them to socialise and show off what's best about the breed. In January 2009, with the police's help, the RSPCA raided a boarding kennels in Manchester. What they found was shocking. And to this day, it still haunts RSPCA inspector Vicky MacDonald. I can remember it as clearly as it was yesterday. When I opened the door, it was like a sea of dogs just poured out. Some had eye conditions, some very thin, what was a call to sort of 15, 20 dogs turned into 65 dogs. For one of those dogs, a poodle, Jess, after going through such an ordeal, you'd wonder how she could cope. Well, she did. And she's found a new loving owner too, Amanda Gladhill. She was so loving and gentle. We just couldn't let her go. She's come from such hardship. Jess is my life now. She's perfect. Join me, Alan Davis, for The Dog Rescuers, Tuesday at 8 on Channel 5.